Hello, my crafty friends. I'm back again for part two of the do -Si do Craft With Me uh, journal that we started yesterday. And I will put a link below um, of the part one if you missed that. So you can give that a view before you uh, watch this part two. Before I go into the crafting, though, I want to show you uh, December 5th is my birthday, and I've been receiving some uh, crafting supplies, some happy mail, um, off of my wish list, which is a link at the very bottom in the description box. I have a list of things that um, are on my wish list, and somebody sent me this um, set of five Nuvo crystal drops and I'm so excited the colors are so beautiful there's five different colors and I just think the bottles are so pretty I love the tops to them so they will be giving me some three-dimensional uh, decorating um, ways to decorate with them <clears throat> and I will be using them in some upcoming videos I also wanted to show you um, I took part in a group swap for a I think this was the uh, fall full uh, fall um, loaded pockets or envelope not sure which one and this came from Carol thank you Carol it is so beautiful I haven't opened it yet but um, I will be opening and going through this today she does such a wonderful job on her crafting just love it looks so beautiful I hate to open it it's so pretty okay so today um, we are going to start embellishing our pages of the do -Si do um, I did put together two signatures, eight pages for each. This is um, going to be like a monthly daily. Uh, the prototype I made, I'll be using for my November daily. And here comes Willow to say hello. Say hello, Willow. He's going to check check out what I'm doing here, and he'll be up and down, I'm sure, uh, on top of my camera. Okay, buddy. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, he just went back up on top of the camera. Um, so I put together uh, two signatures. This will be like a monthly daily, a November daily. I have a December daily. Uh, maybe this one will be a January daily. Um, so I think the first thing we will do is prepare our pages of the signature that will be going into our journal. And I'm just going to cut the pages down a little bit just to make them a little shorter. hope everyone is well today. I believe my allergies are a little better today. I don't seem to be clearing my throat like I did yesterday. So I'm banging down the pages to make sure they're nice and tightly together before I cut. And I'm just going to cut a small sliver. off the end to even it up and make it a little bit smaller to fit in my journal. Make sure it's straight. So 
So I've been posting the hashtag A to Z of Christmas craft this morning on Facebook. It is going to be a collaboration of, I believe it's 32 crafters starting November 1st and every day one of the crafters that has been assigned to a certain day and I was assigned to day five I have the letter E so I need to do a craft with me craft along video um, using Rach and Bella's beautiful digital kit vintage Christmas um, and for the letter E, which I've been assigned to, I'm going to, um, use the prompt Evergreen. So please be sure to check out, um, check out my posts on Facebook. You can put in the pound A to Z of Christmas craft. I'll write that in the description link below so that you can find that. If you put the hashtag in, you'll be able to see everybody's posts and learn more about the collaboration. There are a lot of really big journal making crafters that will be participating and I'm really excited about the opportunity to join in on the fun. Okay, so I'll just cut this one down a little bit. So these, um, these signatures are coffee dyed paper um, there's some blueberry dyed paper and some odds and ends of different papers that I have. Uh, they will, because this is going to be a monthly daily, um, the pages will be decorated each day of the month. So most of the pages will be covered up. Okay, so now the fun part for sewing in the signatures, and what I'm going to do is, um, let me get my template. I'm just using a template that I used um, for a different uh, journal that I sewed in, but I can use this particular one as well, and I'm just going to use um, just the three middle holes. So I'm going to punch three middle holes uh, with my awl, and then use the middle to punch three in the two signatures. I'm going to do it for both spines and both signatures. And then I'm going to sew the signatures in, and then I will be back. Uh, with more for you. So be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I've sewed in the signatures. I just used some uh, cotton, I don't know what you call this, very fine yarn cotton thread uh, that I got from Dollarama. It comes in different colors. I like to use that. And I matched up the gray. <laughs> So we have our two signatures with all the different papers in. It's looking lovely. So now I think what we'll do is we will make the uh, journaling cards that go in the front pockets. So um, I'm going to use my two inch circle hole punch or a uh, circle punch I'm gonna find out where the middle is which is about right there okay. 
and just punch a little divot. There we go. Now I'm going to ink that area up. Let's see if my ink dauber co cooperates. I think I need to get a new one because, yep, the uh, Velcro is just not working on it anymore. So I think I'll have to use this one for today, this old one, until I can get a new dauber. And I'm going to do the inside part. Put my glass mat down. I'm trying to keep my green mat clean. All right. the other side as well while we're at it. Find the center. Just about right there. This one doesn't ink up as neatly as the wooden handle one does. And it makes a mess because it, it comes apart. So I get all these little bitties. Before we do the card, I think we'll do um, the topper. I think I'll use this one for this. I'm just going to ink it up. Actually, I think I'm going to round the corners. around the chopper. There it is. Okay, which way does it go? Like that. Um, I think I will put 
put something behind it. I think that looks nice. So I'll just use my paper trimmer. Mark where I want to cut it. My pencil. going to round the corners of this. Doesn't like uh, thin paper. <clears throat> but at least it gives me the line. away. I'll just ink this up a bit. Okay. That'll look nice. I really like this do -si do journal design. I think it's going to be really fun to use for my November daily. Might as well do this side as well. And I thought about putting this one here. This one maybe, yeah, I'll use this one, mark it. because I can't cut a straight line. So let me know in 
any comments below what you're up to today. Are you crafting? What are you doing this weekend? I'll be crafting, of course. Always my fun go-to. So relaxing. Love being creative. Okay. Get this ink all over my pretty project. Oh, we forgot to, I forgot, you did. <laughs> Looks like we're having nice weather today. A little bit cool and brisk, but nice sunshine. At least it's not raining like it's been doing the past couple days. Okay. We'll glue this down. Again, these are pretty papers from Took's Craft Tables collage kits and other kits. You can find her digital kits on Etsy. They're beautiful, wonderful for using for collaging and pages in your journal making. There we go. That looks nice. Right. So now we can make the journaling card. So I have these pages or this uh, card stock that I think I will cut to the right size. And then I'm going to back with some coffee dyed lined paper. So I have my. And I think I will use this journaling card to match this and this one to match the other side. And then we just need to figure out what size we need. So I think I will cut it. Here and there. I'll try that and see how it works. cut off where my line was. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Let's 
see if this fits. Yep, that's good. I'll use this as a guide. Cut this one down. Now we'll back it with coffee dyed lined paper. Then I'll use my paper trimmer to cut it down. Now I'll ink up both sides. Actually, I'm going to cut the corners, round the corners, and then I'll ink it. Okay. Do the other one, make sure it fits in. It should because I think it's the same size, but you never know with the gluing. Yep, I think this is good. Yep.
around the corners. There's always one corner that doesn't want to work. Okay, now ink it up. Right. Okay, so now, now we need tabs. So I have my whale tail punch and I want to use cardstock. So I'm looking to see if I don't think I have any printed card. I do have this, but I have to put it put it um, onto card. So I'll do that first. Punches. Right. Easy peasy. Edges. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide the journaling card in so that I can see exactly where I need the tab to be placed. we go. So we have our first journaling card in. Now we'll do this one.
I'm going to frame here. So we have both our tabs in, looking good, looking good. So the next step is adding pockets. So I'm going to use these papers. And actually I can use this as well, might as well. Glue the rest down here. Okay. My ruler has walked away. Strange. I'll use my other ruler. Luckily, I have another one. We always need two of everything because we crafters misplace everything. <laughs> So let's see what type of pocket we want. We really shouldn't make it higher than this unless we make it a short pocket like that. So I think I will mark it there. Mark it there. Let's see what this looks like. Actually, I'm going to cut this down first. I don't know why I made that line. <laughs> okay, let's see what this looks like. Kind of a shallow pocket, but either that or I have to make a top tuck. So I think I'll just go ahead with this and I'm going to round this to make it look a little more Cut 
this off the top, round it a bit. There we go. I'm going to ink it up. And then glue it down. Glue it on two sides. And you can decorate this some more. I would put um, a little focal point, maybe a flower and a label. I'll do that later. Then we can add a pocket here. Cut it down. And I think this pocket, I'll just make a notch. And I think I'll probably cut it down just a bit so it's not as tall. Or so it's not as deep. Yeah, that's good. for my circle punch. Find out where the center is. Which I think is about right there. Doesn't have to be perfect. it up. Pull it down.
That looks nice. Of course, I'll be making some journaling tags and cards. I think I'll collage them, put them in. So now to this side. I think we'll do a top tuck on this one. Measure and see how big we want it. Just eyeballing it. Go make it. I like that. So I'm going to ink this one up. Down on three sides. Okay. Now for the last pocket. Put it on some card.
Okay, and I'm going to make this one a diagonal pocket. Like that. And I'm going to round the corners. There we go. Yep. Actually, I think I'm going to cut it down just a little bit more. I think it's a little bit too deep. it up Glue it down, two sides. There we have it. So the do, -si do journal opens up. It's got a big journaling tag in the pocket. We have a signature and a pocket. And it flips over. We have another journaling tag in the pocket. Another signature, another pocket. And then what you can do is, let me get a tie. You can use some sorry tie to tie it up. So I hope you enjoyed this project. It turned out to be two parts, not three, which is good. I hope you do make these. They're so much fun. And have a great rest of your day. A wonderful weekend. Please hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified of all upcoming videos because I will be making more. Don't forget on November First starts the A to Z Christmas collaboration. So check out all those videos. Make sure that you come to see me on the 5th. Can't wait for that. I'm so excited. I have a, a really nice craft along project on the 5th to do with you all. Um, so yeah, thank you for joining me today for another craft with me. Have a great day. Bye-bye, friends.